Okay, so now let's cover network commands. So the first command I want to cover is ifconfig. So you may be familiar with the Windows version of this, which is ipconfig, and they pretty much do the same thing. So it shows you here your different uh, interface types and the IP address associated with them. So eth0 here, ethernet0, has an IP address of 192.168.132.164. You can see the net mask, the broadcast address, and you can see the MAC address as well. And we also have a loopback address here. Now, if your machine has a wireless adapter, or at some point you want to do wireless penetration testing, you're going to need iwconfig. And you should not expect to see anything on this at the moment, unless you're using a laptop, then you actually might see a configuration down here for it. If you would see something under iwconfig, you would see like a WLAN 1, WLAN 0, something along those lines. Okay, and another common command that we're going to see is going to be the ping command. So we can just type in ping and the address that we're trying to talk to. So for example, I'm going to try to ping my home router and I get talking back. So if I tried to ping something that wasn't in my network, like a 16.1, you're going to see the results change. So with ping here, ping is going to be endless. Until we hit something like control C to stop it, it'll ping forever. So I'm going to hit control C again and kind of show you the difference. So you see that we attempted to ping here and we got replies, we got information back. Well, that's good. That means we're talking to the other machine. It says, hey, are you there? It says, yeah, I'm there. And we try to ping this machine here, but this machine's not talking back. It could mean that the machine is not on the network or that the machine is just blocking ICMP traffic. ICMP is a, another word for ping. So moving on to the next command, I want to show you ARP. So the best way I like to type in is ARP with the switch of A. And ARP is just going to show you MAC addresses that it talks to and the IP address Actually, I said that backwards. It's going to show you the IP address it talks to and the MAC address associated with it. So if an IP address reaches out, say um, 192.168.15.1 talked out to this machine, it's going to say, okay, hey, who are you? It's going to send a broadcast message out to say, who has this IP address? And then the IP address will respond and says, hey, I do, and this is my MAC address. So ARP is just a way of associating IP addresses with MAC addresses. And once you know that, you can also look at netstat. So netstat-ano is another one of my favorite commands. And this shows you just the active connections that are running on your machine. So if we scroll way up, and you can just kind of see what's open and where it, what's talking here. Where this really comes in handy on a penetration test is to see if a machine is talking to somebody else. Same thing with ARP. You want to know what that machine is associated with and is it talking to something on a port. So this is more just internal right now but it's still good to know. So for example if I were to open up a Firefox page and connect out to the internet. Then I went and I did a netstat again. I would see information about that port being open and um, and that I am going out with it. So just kind of keep that in mind. These are not commands that you really need to know in depth right now. Um, network does come into play when you are doing penetration testing, but we'll, we're going to cover these commands time and time and again. I just wanted to give you a very uh, brief introduction to them. Okay, and the last command that I have for you today is route. So if you type in route, that's going to print your routing table. And the routing table is important because it tells you where your traffic exits, essentially. So for this VM, my traffic is exiting on 192.168.134.0. Um, so any traffic goes out of this 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 gateway um, in this range, right? 
So when it goes out this gateway, it's doing um, NAT, so network address translation, and it's running off my computer. So the best examples aren't here, but it's important to know route as well because there could be a machine that you're attacking that has multiple routes. So you might see a 134 and a 135 because it has a, a dual home NIC, the meaning it has two NICs inside of it. So it's actually talking to a completely different network that you didn't know existed. So you might have been attacking one network in the 134 range, and then 135 is just out there, and this computer can talk to both. And until that point, you had no idea. And that's the idea of called pivoting when you switch a network from one to the other, but you're using a machine. So that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about viewing, creating, and editing files. <laughs>